Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Vox. Tracy here, and uh, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So I've just got back, well, not just, but a little while ago, I got back from uh, my son's house and um, where we had a lovely dinner cooked by Victoria and um, both Mike and myself went and um, yeah, it was nice to see the kids and uh, yeah, I got um, some lovely little Mother's Day presents and some flowers. So, uh, but the, oh, the road on the way home though, lights were so glary. You know, when you drive in at night and especially when there's that fine rain and people have got those really awful bright lights these days if they're halogen or um, LED ones, I don't know, but they really are horrible. And you know the ones that are really white and they go right through to your soul, fricassee your eyeballs out, those ones. So, yeah, I was certainly glad when I got back and I didn't have any more of those fricassee in my eyeballs. Where are we? Let's see where we're at. I need, I need a light bulb. Remember when um, um, okay, I've got to do this right. Remember when you could buy a new Chevy coupe for five hundred dollars, but no one would afford one, or no one could afford one. I don't know. I can't remember how much I think when I was young and I passed my test can't remember really how much cars were I know you could pick up like a second-hand car for about 500 it would be quite a good one but um, I don't know how much brand new car was because it was so far off the scale for me at that time that um, I didn't ever get one I got one um, when the kids were little um, obviously by then you're kind of a bit more set in life aren't you but when I first passed my test, I doubt that I even thought about cars and how much they were. Okay, let's see the new picky. Oh, wet bum. Wet bum, otherwise known as arse soaker. And Mando. When we first saw wet bum, that is. When he wanted her to train little Grogu. Wet bum. Okay. I cannot believe it. But I touched on the fact that my video went cool out there, man. And yep. Yeah, I can't believe this, right? But I suddenly found myself way over 15,000 subscribers. <coughs> so that means a 15k giveaway. It's just kind of like called flaboom. Not that I'm complaining, you understand? But um, now I've got to find some yarn in amongst this that you haven't necessarily had as a giveaway before. I've got itchy ears and I don't know why, but inside is itching. But it's not, it's not like right inside. It's just this skin. Oh, I know why. I think I dyed my hair this morning. You probably can see that the dark bit is just a little darker it's not like bright dark as it was i don't know why i've got this dark bit but it's just bizarre like little little portion there will never never seems to want to lighten and um it does lighten to a ginger kind of like a a mousy ginger but it doesn't go the right the same color as the rest of my hair which is weird but um maybe they've changed the ingredients in the dye and it's irritating, perhaps. I don't know. It annoys me when they do stuff like that, you know. It's like I used to use a certain brand of washing powder that my mother used, and I used it, and everything was fine, and then they changed ingredients into it, and I couldn't use it anymore. And for quite a long time, that meant I had to buy a brand, see if I was allergic to that. Yes, I was. Wasted that one. Buy another brand, see if I was allergic to that one. And so it went on until I found... 
uh, there's two that I could have. My hair's got really long, hasn't it? It's just crazy how long it's got. But, uh, well, I am quite tired actually. Um, I don't know why. Um, I slept quite a decent amount last night, but I, I'm just so tired. Maybe it was the driving. Perhaps it's the night driving that's done it. Not night, but evening, you know. Perhaps that's it, I don't know. But I think I, think I was actually tired earlier. In fact, I couldn't believe the time. I mean, it was eight o'clock and I could have said, you know, good night, I'm going to bed now. Because I was actually really, really yawning. Gary said, you can't do a video like that. You can't go in there and yawn your head off. You know, not in front of everybody. And I went, well, I'll probably wake up by then. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine like I pause it to sneeze I pause it to gulp my tea you imagine if it's like oh sorry I've got a yawn you know well I'd never be on would I it's always be something it'd always be something that pulls it for I've got my fan blasted on me I'm really hot it's quite mild really I know it's rainy and horrible but it's mild and uh, it, although it was it's quite chilly outside but it's not cold cold if you know what I mean and um the heat it was on so I came in it was like a bit tropical trying to watch death in paradise talking about tropical Gary wanted to watch a film I said no I don't think I've got a film in me so let's watch death in paradise 15 minutes in Gary says oh I'm really tired I've got to go to bed I went you wanted to watch a film my neighbor put the light on outside and it all just suddenly um, started reflecting on the wall. Let me, um, I don't know if it actually played with my light or not. We'll put the light line down. There we go. That's it. Wow. So, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm really, really amazed by how the algorithm can take hold of one video, you know. And um, there'll be others it will just ignore. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Well, um, it was lovely seeing Harley. He had a little bath and he was playing in the bath with his um, two Sonic the Hedgehogs, a Mario and some cups. He was enjoying himself big time. And I was good on my diet. That was good, wasn't it? I mean, Victoria makes amazing cakes. She does. And she made brownies and they did look gorgeous. And there was lots and lots of chocolate in them, you know, kind of squidgy as well in the middle, like they should be. And I didn't. I didn't have one. And Bailey, her oldest son, made her a cake and it was so good. I'll show you a picture. I will, and you'll probably, I don't know if you'll see it really well. But considering he's 15, and he made her this cake. Isn't that amazing? And it was really tall and the sides were straight. And yeah. How, how cool is that? Ah. My boys never made me cake. I was lucky to get tea. Well, I, I would always get tea off of Paul. It was Mike. Mike was the one. When he was little, because Paul used to make me tea, he wanted to, you know, when the kid's like, I really want to do that. Can I do it? And so uh, yeah, he finally made me tea. He made a couple and then it was like, hang on a minute. I don't want this job. So he decided to bring me in tea made with cold water and make it awful every time so I would never ask him. I knew he was up to that really, you know. I could see through him, see through it. But he didn't drink it either. He, if the longest time he never drank hot drinks. So um, Paul always did. He loved tea when he was little. And then he went on to coffee. But... Mike was always a Coke drinker or then it went on to energy drinks. I don't like them much. But um, now he does drink coffee. That smells lovely. Oh, I really love that stuff. This is something I got from Lush. It's called Karma Cream. And I was sent a sample. I've got a feeling it might have been, is it Linda that sent me the sample? And it's so good. You know when I had all that hand problem with all the dryness gone now but um she sent me a little pot of it and so when i went i bought a big pot and i i forgot all about it it was at the back and i just totally forgot it was there 
and so yeah beautiful absolutely lovely smell my phone's going crazy i've got about uh other mother's day messages as well so uh yeah had a good day though i wish it had been nice though nice weather because you know on a day when you wash your hair you don't really want the humidity and the um and the the, the wet to make it frizzy so yeah could have done without could have done without the rain especially as we had to park away up the road and walk back um the sneeze now <laughs> can't win can't win so yeah i've got um I've been asked to do the um granny square that shows that new technique what i might do is i might make a, a little video and um, when i do that i'll show how you um how you can adapt it for other things might do another video i don't know we'll see i was asked to do both so um I could try and combine it. No, no. It would have to be separate because it would have to have a name. Maybe I'd do it as a short. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, so um, tomorrow I have to go to the dermatologist. That's today for you guys. Because today for me is yesterday for you. Yeah. So, yeah, going to the dermo in the morning and... Um, kind of not looking forward to it I don't know why I dread appointments I don't know <laughs> it's not they don't ever do anything untoward there that might hurt the worst thing she did was when she taped my back up with all those patches on and I had to live like that for a few days it was really difficult it felt like I was in a straight jacket and I wasn't allowed to get it wet which was difficult for me and uh but anyway I wonder what will happen if she will say that I ought to go to London to have the uh, food allergy test or whether they'll just, you know, kind of look at my feet and give me some more cream, you know. <laughs> I don't know. But she's all, there's all the previous things and recommendations and it was meant to be the other day but I forgot. And well, I had a bit of an emergency that day, so it kind of got forgotten. Anyway, um, I know I'm a bit tired, so I do apologise for not being my usual bouncy self. But um, it's getting quite late now. And uh, I suddenly realised that I hadn't done the video. I was thinking of doing it before I left, and I didn't, and I'm so busy. So um, it is a bit of a late one. So yeah, I will get off, upload this and um, do my, my little giveaway as well for my 15k. Not long before I'll do the 15.5 because it's almost, well, it's inching up, well, romping up a little, you know. So thanks for watching and thank you for everything you do and hello to all my new subscribers if you're watching. I promise you they're not usually with me being this tired. So um, I will see you on the next one and uh, take care. And I hope you all had if, a lovely Mother's Day yesterday if you're from the UK. And if you're from the rest of the world, I hope you had a great Mother's Day kind of surrogate Mother's Day because I know yours is later on. But you can still have another day. Bye everyone. See you soon.